Hey y'all and welcome back to Adventures with Ariel. As some of you may already know, last week it was announced that smoking will no longer be permitted at Disneyland or Disney World. Many people have applauded Disney's new policy, but it may force the smoking minority to reconsider future Disney vacations. I, for one, am not the least bit surprised by Disney's decision. Smoking has already been restricted in most sections of the Disney resorts, and there are only a few designated smoking areas available in the parks. In fact, Hotel guests can be fined between $250 and $500 for smoking inside Disney rooms, on patios, or on balconies. But Disney's rocky history with tobacco extends far beyond resort regulations. Old Walt himself smoked like a chimney and died from complications of lung cancer. Now, it's safe to say that Walt's time was a different time. It was an era where cigarettes were being endorsed by everyone, from athletes to doctors to the Flintstones? <laughs> And believe it or not, there was once a time that both Disneyland and the Magic Kingdom featured tobacco shops on Main Street. The first tobacco shop opened in 1955 as one of the original shops on Disneyland's Main Street. Located between the Magic Shop and Main Street Cinema, the shop carried cigars, cigarettes, and pipes and tobacco from around the world. The Disney World tobacco shop would close in 1985, but the Disneyland shop would remain open until 1991, when it was then converted to a sports memorabilia shop. If you walk down Main Street today, you can still see the wooden cigar store Indian that stood in front of the tobacco shop when it first opened. So prior to the 1990s, the Disney parks were not trying to hide smoking or discourage guests from doing it. Quite the contrary, actually. There was once a time when Disney restaurants and hotels carried free themed matchbooks, and they were actually pretty well designed, making for great collector's items. Smoking was never allowed inside the attractions, but it was allowed inside the restaurants and all of the outdoor areas of the parks. Not to mention that you could find an ashtray within every hotel room. But as the years passed, smoking inevitably became more socially unacceptable. And by the 1990s, Disney had decided to limit smoking to designated areas at its parks. But this wasn't the only change that was made. Behold, Walt's two-finger point. Like I said, Walt Disney smoked like a chimney, reportedly three packs a day. So why is it so hard to find a photo of Walt Disney smoking a cigarette? Well, in an effort to hide Walt's habit from children visiting Disneyland, the company has gone to great lengths to Photoshop cigarettes out of Walt's hands, leaving behind what appears to be a two-finger point in many of his photographs. And strangely enough, this could be related to the reason why Disney cast members point with two fingers. When I worked as a cast member, I was told that the two finger point was used because the one finger point could be interpreted as rude to several different cultures. But in 2015, the Huffington Post spoke with an anonymous Disney cast member who was informed by a lead that the strange gesture seen from cast members at Disney parks is actually based on Walt's old smoking habit. Fascinating stuff, eh? The two finger point even made it into the film Saving Mr. Banks, where oddly enough, Tom Hanks is never seen with a cigarette. Disney's systematic photoshopping of history has drawn a lot of criticism, and as a result, they've recently discontinued this policy at Disneyland, acknowledging the importance of being honest about cigarettes being the reason Walt died young. Now, when it comes to featuring smokers in its films, the Walt Disney Company isn't playing around. You might have noticed that Disney characters are no longer puffing in PG-rated films, as this has been the case since 2007. But you may not know that in 2015, Disney announced that it would be banning smoking in PG-13 rated productions as well, including Marvel, Lucasfilm, and Pixar films. A pretty big move for a studio that portrays 18% of smoking scenes depicted in youth-rated movies. Disney CEO Bob Iger explained, we are extending our policy to prohibit smoking in movies across the board. He then clarified that the ban would not apply to instances in which smoking was part of the cultural or historical background of a real-life figure. Iger said, for instance, we've been doing a movie on Abraham Lincoln, he was a smoker, and we would consider that acceptable. But in terms of any new characters that are created for any of those films, under any of those labels, we will absolutely prohibit smoking in any of those films. I personally find it a little ironic that Tom Hanks was never seen with a cigarette and saving Mr. Banks, being that smoking was part of Walt's historical background. If they would show Abraham Lincoln smoking, then why not Walt Disney? Regardless, I think it's great that smoking is being taken out of children's films. Ugh. Oh, I, I will 
cannot do this. I cannot. Oh, what a foul way for a bird to die. I don't want to get big cancer. No, my lungs are blackened. Here we go again. Oh. Cut, cut, cut. I guess we'll always have these guys to take us back to a time when smoking was perceived as the height of sophistication. So as far as Disney is concerned, smoking is out but drinking is in. When Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens on May 31st, it will include Oga's Cantina, the first bar to sell alcohol to the public inside the original Disneyland Park. Looking back, it seems crazy that for years, Disneyland banned alcohol in the name of family friendliness while also allowing smoking within the park. Oh, how the times change. I wanna know what y'all think of the recent smoking ban. Is it a little extreme? Tell me in the comment section below. Also, if you had produced Saving Mr. Banks, would you have shown Walt Disney smoking in the film? I'd love to know. And if you learned something new today, then please give this video a huge thumbs up, as well as hit that subscribe button down below. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a magical day.